Hi, this is saying Today I would like to share the Marilyn series of log 1 plus x over 1 minus x. We have first let fx be equal to log 1 plus x over 1 minus x. As we can see, this function is not simple, it's a bit complicated. So if you want to differentiate, it's quite complicated. So what we have to do here, we just apply the law of logarithm where ln a over b is equal to ln a minus ln b. So it means that this will give us ln 1 plus x minus ln 1 minus x. We just have to obtain the expansion of one term and replace the negative sign to obtain the other terms. So we have to let gx be equal to ln 1 plus x. So at the point 0, we have ln 1 plus 0, which is equal to ln 1. Ln 1 is equal to 0. Then we differentiate with respect to x, we obtain the reciprocal which is 1 plus x. So when we differentiate ln, we obtain the reciprocal. Remember to differentiate the inner part. But for the inner part, 1 plus x, when we differentiate, we obtain 0 plus 1. So anything times 1, we obtain the same thing. So nothing changed here. Then we substitute 0, we obtain 1 over 1 plus 0, which is 1. Differentiate again. So this is actually 1 times 1 plus x to the power of negative 1. So when we differentiate, power bring down. So we have negative 1 times 1 plus x power minus 1. So negative 1 minus negative 1, we obtain negative 2. At the point 0, we have minus 1. Since this is negative 1 over 1 plus 0 to the power 2. So it means that negative 1 over 1. So we have negative 1. The third derivative, we obtain power bring down negative, negative, positive. So 2, 1 plus x to the power of negative 3, power minus 1. At the point 0, we have 2. Then differentiate again. Power bring down, so negative 6, 1 plus x to the power of negative 4. So we have negative 6. Okay, you don't just obtain 4 non-zero terms and we stop here. As we can see, we have a minus sign here, which means that it's high a very high chance that we will obtain the same term that can actually offset each other. Then we will have less than 3 or 4 terms. So what we have to do here is per state. Okay, we differentiate as many as possible. So we have negative 6, negative 4, so which is 24. So 24. Then differentiate again. So 24 times 5 is 120 with negative sign. Okay, if let's say we still feel that not enough, never mind, we differentiate another term. So negative, negative, positive. 120 times 6, we have 720. Okay, so now suppose enough. Then we press it to the expansion. So we have gx is equal to the first term, the original term, we have 0. 
So it means that 0 over 0 factorial x to the power of 0. Then we plus the first derivative is 1. So 1 over 1 factorial x to the power of 1. Then next, we have minus 1 over 2 factorial x to the power of 2. Then next, the third derivative is 2 over 3 factorial x to the power of 3. Then next is negative 6 over 4 factorial x to the power of 4. Then we have 24 over 5 factorial x to the power of 5. Then we have negative 120 6 factorial x to the power of 6. Then the last 720 over 7 factorial x to the power of 7 and so on. Okay, now let's simplify. So 0 over 0 factorial which is 1, which is 0 because 0 factorial is 1, 0 over 1 is 0. So this term is eliminated, no more. Then 1 over 1 factorial is 1. 1 times x, x. Negative 1 over 2 x squared. 2 over 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. 2 over 6 is 1 over 3. Then negative 6 over 24. 4 factorial is 24. So we have negative 1 over 4 x to the power 4. Then 24 over 5 factorial. 5 factorial is equal to 120. So 24 over 120, we obtain 1 over 5. Okay, next we have minus 6 factorial is equal to 720. So 120 divided by 720, we obtain 1 over 6. As we can see the pattern, 1 over 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4, 1 over 5, 1 over 5, 1 over 6. This one, we can actually guess this is 1 over 7 with the plus minus sign alternatively. So we have positive 1 over 7 x to the power of 7 and so on. Since the plus minus sign is alternatively, so this one we put negative. Next, we replace negative x. So we have odd power and even power. So remember, for even power, the plus minus won't change because negative 1 square equal to positive 1. Positive 1 square equal to positive 1 as well. So which means that if as long as we have even power, the sign won't change. So what we have to do here, just change the odd power sign. So we have negative x, even power remained odd power change, even power remain, odd power change, even power remain, odd power change, and so on. Okay, so what we have to do next is to combine that. So as we know, ln 1 plus x over 1 minus x is equal to ln 1 plus x minus ln 1 minus x which means that this is actually the series gx minus the series g negative x which means that we just have to take the series minus all this then we will obtain the answer so from here we can simplify so the one that same same can actually be eliminated sin minus one minus one equal to zero the same thing offset each other so no more
So what we left here is remember minus negative become positive. So x plus x we have two x. One over three minus negative one over three plus one over three two over three. Then we have one over five plus one over five two over five. And the last term two over seven and so on. Then we done. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.